Sickness by Rebel Jones. The deeper the description of the symptoms advances implications of the sickness to ante up your prescriptions. There's something I like to call unnoticed slavery. Our daily existence is its description and secretly there's someone behind the scenes feeling pleasure from being vindictive. Year after year, tightening the choke of its hold on its addicted victims. My empathy for those with the sickness runs deeper than I ever knew existed. It pains me to see a world that believes it's making its own choices and decisions. We're all waiting and searching and spending our lives looking for humanity's savior. Well, what if that savior is us? And we've entrusted that job to clowns in tuxedos and suits to whip our asses with whiplash and taxes and rules. Shoveling pills down our throats, making you believe that there's serious issues with you. Late night infomercial seems the devil's way of speaking and reaching out to insomniac victims with unlimited credit on plastic to buy careful limp biscuits and unique machines to free unwanted hairs from uncomfortable places. What if colors are illusions and racial difference isn't really different when it comes to hearts beating and bleeding or breathing or process of eating, seeing, sleeping and feeling? What if, each, what if what we each believe or find attractive and appealing should only remain in conversational pieces, not false facts to remain mindless sheeps believe it? Good morning. Thank you for waking up today. Best believe it. Peace. Rebel Jones out.